Good afternoon, everyone. Here we go, our first break of 2018 Bowman Baseball, our first break of the day, and it is a pick your team break. Number one, big thanks to these folks for getting to the action on a Wednesday. There it is, pick your team one, eight box Bowman Baseball Jumbo. There's everybody right here. Mark Glassman, boom box, winning the Angels in our spot random. So congrats to him. There's Gerald. He had the last spot mojo in this break, and there's everybody else. Good luck. I don't know if steals and deals is regular enough for them. I'm trying to get in on that? There's other guys ahead of you in line. <laughs> All right, let's pop this open. This break is going to take a little while, so so sit back and relax, get comfortable. There's 2018 Bowman Baseball. We got Hunter Green and Raphael Devers on the cover. Nice. Three autographs per box. Good luck. All right. Actually, flip these this way easier for me to rip these packs. Robert thinks there's overhype right now on, on Otani. Probably. But hey, prices were ridiculous for Strasburg too. And for Mike Trout. You know, none of those guys were sure things either. But yet, there was some ridiculous prices being paid for those guys too. It's just all, this is all part of the, the hobby. Every once in a while, there'll be that kind of overhyped rookie that's going to catch everyone's imagination. But that's what's good about the hobby, that there's that kind of interest. In, in, in like, you know, what is Otani's like 23? You know? Uh, when was Stras Strasburg's first Bowman auto? How old was he? 18, 19? So it's... It's a crazy industry, the way these values are, but it's encouraging, though. I mean, because that, what does that tell you? That tells you that the hobby in general is pretty strong if collectors are willing to pay that kind of money for, for guys in their teens or early 20s. All right. Here we go. We're going to start off with Victor Robles. Obviously, as you know, paper won't be shipping out. Chrome will ship, of course. Joe Adele is going to be one of the big names for Bo Bichette. There's a, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of prospects coming up the ranks for a lot of teams. That it's, it's going to be very, very interesting. So here's just the back of what some of the papers look like, just so you can get a nice look at it. Nice clean design that we love from uh, from Bowman, of course. Logan Allen is our first autograph. No, we're literally in like our first pack, Max. Relax. There'll be, there'll be plenty of this to go. All right, Padres with that one. That goes to Bill Hanson. Do I, in my Bowman, I have a Bowman baseball guide for everybody. Let's see if I have any info on him. Logan Allen, 21-year-old kid. Drafted the eighth eighth round, six in the eighth round. Should be top 10 in the, in the organization.
They got out of four ninety nine, Dylan Cousins, part of the uh, Phillies youth movement. That'll go to Robert Parsons. I kind of like that the number's on front. As a breaker, that helps me out. <laughs> um, let's try to keep the paper separated from all that. Hunter Green, nice Hunter Green. Bowman first for the Reds, the Red Legs, Justin Gutting with the Hunter Green. We met him at the uh, at the Tops Industry Conference in Arizona earlier this year. A California kid, could be a two-way player, but I think he was saying to us at the Reds will probably shift him over to pitching more exclusively, but he's got some good uh he's got some good stuff. Any big hits yet, Todd? Yeah, that Hunter Green. That's a big hit right there. For the Reds. Nice trout. Rookie of the Year favorites, possibly, if they, if they call him up. And there it, there it is. I think Rex was looking for this guy. Adbert Alzole for the Cubbies. This guy is a highly touted prospect for the Cubs. Number two in their organizational rankings, according to Fangraphs.com. Um, he did a... Uh, he just had his first start of the year in AAA. His AAA debut, he went six innings. He was perfect through four of them. No hitter through 5.1 innings. His only earned run, I think that broke up the no hitter, was a solo shot. Oh, that Hunter Green was a big hit, Todd. And that Adbert Al Alzole could be one of the bigger names for the Cubs pitching staff. Upside down paper. Is that a different parallel? No, it's not. Is that a different parallel? No, it's not. There's Jordan Hicks, 243 out of 499 for the Cardinals. It's a paper parallel for Ryan Krause. Tiny paper for Mark. And we've got out of 125, Bandel Isabel for the Dodgers. And that'll go to Jeremy Tillman. Looking for that Dodger Joe Mojo.
What are the what are these birthday one? Bowman birthdays. Byron Buxton. What was this all about? Oh, okay. I like that birthday theme that they have going on there. There's Dominic Smith to 150. Willie Calhoun. Rangers edition. He was a former Dodger prospect. And that was box number one. Scoot this paper over. Let's sleeve this up. And onwards, folks. I'll try to do a quick recap at the end of every box. Next one. Good luck, everybody. This is figure team number one. We've got more figure teams in the store right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got a random team break that's already filled up that'll be breaking a little bit later tonight. And we've got plenty of spot randoms to help you get the angels in the figure team breaks. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And Pedro Avila for the Padres. First autograph out of here for the Friars, Bill Hansen. Bill Hansen with that one. Let's see what info we have on this autograph. Pedro, 21, 15th overall in the Padres organization. It's just in high A right now. I don't know if he did. That was a pretty wild game. That could be a good rivalry, folks. Yeah. Uh, upcoming rivalry. Angels versus the Astros. Could be a, a new rivalry bubbling up. Tiny paper. 
And we've got some gold. Nice. Kyber Ruiz. Gold autograph. He's one of the top Dodgers pitching prospects. Jeremy Tillman. And he's hitting pretty well. Double A Tulsa right now. 34 out of 50. That card is gold. Nice. Kybert Ruiz. Big fan of him. Dodgers actually have a few good pitching prospects in their, or a few good catching prospects in their, uh, in their ranks right now, which may leave Yasmani Grandal open to possible, possible trade in the middle of the season. But he's a he's a free agent later this year, so at the end of the season, so they might just let him walk. Twenty four out of two fifty. Jordan Hicks, purple chrome. For the Cardinals, that'll be for Ryan Krause. There's the MMA fighter, Nolan Arenado. Not why they put why they would put UFC guys in the Bowen baseball. I'm curious. And Chris Rodriguez, purple paper, twenty three out of two fifty for the Angels. Mark Glassman. Joe Adele, one of the big Angels prospects coming up the ranks. And we've got Cole Reagans, 114 out of 125. Some sort of cyan shimmer, it looks like, for the Rangers. That'll go to Jason. Wagner with the Rangers. Slide these Otanis aside too, because I think in the, at least for the initial week, these will have a solid amount of value of the release. Did we get our three autos already? I've kind of lost track. We have one and two, so we should be looking for one more autograph in this stack right here. Oh, there it is. I see it already. That was Ronald Acuna. Just got called up. And there's our autograph. 79 out of 499, Tyler Maley for the Reds. Rookie auto going to Justin Gutting. Tyler Maley already in the big leagues, making some starts, doing his thing. That's what he's all about. All right, so there's our third auto from this box. Let's breeze through the rest of these and move on to the next one. Ozzy Albius out of 499. There you go. Now it's box two. Goes to DMAC and the Braves. All right, next box. Good luck. Looks like this is taking about a little under uh, a little under ten minutes per box. 
So I think you can kind of gauge one, two, three, four, five, what the schedule is going to be. And six, I guess. We haven't done this one yet. It looks like the jumbos are going to take about just a shade over an hour per, uh, per break. The hobbies might be just as long, too, if not a little bit longer. Or maybe that one's shorter. Good luck, everybody. So there's the uh, 2018 Bowman Baseball Guide that we were working on. If you want to check that out, link is in the chat. Good luck, everyone. Next box. And we've got Jonathan Scope, purple paper, out of 250. He's been playing some good baseball. It's for the Orioles. We've got David Murphy Jr. with that one. I think he's on the DL. Should be coming back today, maybe? Soon? There's Acuna, just got called up. He's playing today. Uh, Steven Gonsalves. 58 out of 150. Blue Shimmer for the Twins. Rich with the Twin Cities. Just saw Gliber Torres flash by there. He's up too. So there's a lot of great young prospects coming up the ranks, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Dorlek says, wait till I see Andres Jimenez's signature. Oh, is it not, is it not a good one? <laughs> There's Dennis Santana. Nice. He had a great start for the Dodgers the other day, too. For the Drillers. This goes to JT, Jeremy Tillman, and my Dodgers. Dodger Joe Mojo. I could see him coming up the Dodgers ranks pretty soon, too. Francisco Mejia should be a big name for the Indians. I mean, that's going to be a big name. Josh Akami out of four ninety nine for the Red Sox. That'll go to Corey K with the Akami. Anthony Alf. Blue Jays have a great farm system. I feel like a lot of teams have been rebuilding their farm system and they are looking better and better. A lot of young players getting a lot more chances to play. Too, which is also good for, for us and the hobby. There's Alfredo Rodriguez, 235 out of 250, purple paper for the Red Legs. That's for Justin Gutting. Nick Williams. <laughs> I kind of like those birthday parallels or birthday chrome inserts for some reason. I dig it. Something different. Another Otani. Uh, there's Taylor Ward. Justice Sheffield. I wonder if there's any of uh, any of. Uh, I'm sure there's variations of him hitting too. And a Chrome Prospect Autograph Refractor Parallel. 
Luis Robert, who I think is a White Sox, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, he is. Outfielder prospect. Should be uh, third in their in the uh, rankings, organizational rankings, for the White Sox. And, according to Fangrass.com, their 21st overall prospect. So that's a nice one for the Chicago White Sox. D-Mac. So there's our second auto. Robert Roar's like, hard time sorting cards yet. Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. I mean... I try my best to uh, to sort out the paper because we're not we don't send the paper obviously sort out the paper as we go along, but then the challenge is just the quantity of cards after that. So Luis Urias out of one twenty five for the Padres. So with that being said, I'm sure everyone understands that usually we for most breaks, which are far shorter than this, our uh, our turnaround time on shipping we usually get stuff knocked out and shipped and labeled within a day or two. Obviously, this will take a little bit longer. <laughs> so we appreciate everyone's patience on that. Uh, we should be expecting one more autograph. This pile right here. Is this it? Purple autograph? It is. Mike Sharwin. Sharwin? What do what, what do we know about what do we know about Mike here? I, th I feel like I. Oh, I had some interesting an interesting note about him. 17 out of – this is in my notes. If you look at the Bowman Baseball Guide, go to Mike Sharwin. And ha he has my birthday. So I'm obviously going to be PCing this guy, uh, making sure that, that he makes it big. 17 out of 250, Red Sox. That will go to Corey K. Plays the piano, plays the saxophone, and had a 11.3K per nine in about 135 innings between A and high A in 2017. So there you go. Strikes guys out. Has my birthday. Obviously he's going to be great. No question about it. I was like, I knew I had some note about Mike Sherwin. All right, there you go. Next one. All right, so there are our three autographs. And the rest. All right. Next box, good luck. So after we do this, we're, we'll be just about halfway, uh, just about halfway through the break.
All right. Uh, Sam, if I see another Bowman Sterling, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry, yeah. I should be showing some of the, the, the new inserts that they have here. I'll, I'll give you guys a closer look on the Bowman Sterling inserts. Those will ship, but I'll give, give everybody a closer look on that next time we see one. We got D.L. Hall, Bowman Scouts Gold, 41 out of 50. Rated at number 78 for the Orioles, David Murphy Jr. That card is gold. Blaine Enloe, blue chrome out of 150 for the Twin Cities. That'll go to Rich. There's Royce Lewis, number one overall last year. Tuki Toussaint. There's Tyler O'Neill, ton, um, which you remember from the Mariners days. He's on the. Uh, here's one of the, here's a different one. Your 2018 Roy favorites. I know we haven't been hanging too long on some of the new inserts, but yeah, Tyler O'Neill with the Cardinals now. Oh, no worries, D-Mac. That was a solid one. There's Acuna. Here's a closer look at the uh, Bowman trending. Some new inserts here. We took, we had a closer look at the birthday ones, which I like for some reason. Bowman scouts, we're all familiar with those inserts. No autograph yet, right? Okay, we still have not seen our first auto yet out of the box. Another Roy favorite, and there's Thomas Hatch. Bowman first autograph, Thomas Hatch. Down the hatch for Rex and the Cubs, his second auto. He got the guy that he wanted in like the first box, I think, and then some more for you, Rex. From Tulsa. Look at that. TJ, do you know this guy? It's TJ's neighbor. T T probably TJ's neighbor. Yeah. Tulsa's a small place. Right? Yeah. Long been to the airport in Tulsa. Never driven around. They've got a big book festival there too. They've got they've got yeah. some good academics there. There's Logan Allen. We saw his autograph earlier out of 499 for the Friars. That'll be for Bill Hansen. Actually, let me set the autograph over here so we can keep track of how many we have left. Not seen Otani as a hitter. Might, that might be the shorter printed variation, I would imagine. There's Verdugo and there's Matt Tice. Three out of 50, gold shimmer. Mark Glassman, that card is gold. Should we should we hype up? I don't know if I don't know if Matt Tice is going to get the same hype as Otani, but but uh, oh, I don't have he doesn't have autographs in this. I don't I don't have info on him. But there's the info on the back. Thanks, Bowman. Matt Tice. Oh, here's the Bowman Sterling insert right here. So Nick Williams, I think he's a big power hitting prospect for the for the Phillies. So obviously all these will ship. And that's what these look like. Kind of has like the the old familiar Sterling design. Sterling stats on the back. Nice design, nice photography too. So there you go. That goes. That'll ship out to the Phillies. I 
those sterlings are to be one per box. That's what it seems like. Tyler Stevenson and Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals. Nice rookie auto for the Redbirds. That'll go to Rain Kraus. Nice late first round pick. Should be a should be a big name for them. Chris Sale out of 499. Paper parallel. Going to the Red Sox, Corey K with Chris Sale. Ozzy Albius. Be look, expecting one more autograph. There's a nice Reese Hoskins, Bowman, Sterling, and Corbin Burns for the Brew Crew. Brewers, Corbin Burns. He's second in the Brewers organizational rankings by fangrass.com. He's also 37th overall. 35th overall, that is. He's in Triple A now. Brewers could use that pitching. So that autograph goes to David Shaw and the Brew Crew. There he is again. 72, according to Bowman Scouts' top 100. So some different opinions there. More pitcher, Shohei Otani. Let's find see, see one as a, as a hitter. Talent pipeline. And another parallel, maybe? Yes. Yes, Jordan Hicks, blue paper, 50 out of 150. Another one for Rain and the uh, for Ryan and the Cardinals. Blue paper. And that should be that. Next box. So a lot of fun parallels. And here are our three autographs. All right, four boxes left. We are officially halfway through the break, ladies and gentlemen. So it looks like we have another about 10 minutes a box, a little, little under 40 minutes to go. So if you're not in this break, you want you need to run a quick errand or something like that, you got 40 minutes. And then we'll be moving on to the next break. Um, we'll have a quick two-box break of TriStar autograph football jerseys happening after this. In about 45 minutes or so, we'll start that break. And then there'll be a random team break of Bowen Baseball, the 12-box hobby edition. And that'll, that'll be another sort of 60, 70 minute break. And then after that, although does hobby keep longer? I forget. Um, anyhow, but any sometime after that, will be, uh, will be that Bowman baseball break, the hobby edition, the random team break edition. And then I don't know what happens after that. Nothing sold out at the moment. So we've got a lot of breaks that are close. I'm sure, and we'll be ready to do another full case break of this stuff around 7 o'clock Pacific, 6.45 to 7 o'clock Pacific. So start getting your team so we can hit the ground running. Next one. Good luck, everybody. We'll breeze through this paper. Chrome. I'll put 
put right next to me right here. Bowman birthday, Tyler Glass now, and Joey Wentz. I don't know if he has any relation to Carson Wentz, but that goes to DMAC and the Bravos. Joey Wentz. Uh, I guess he was the sixth pick in the first round supplemental draft. Darren, 126 out of 150. 40th overall. So late first rounder. I don't know what else. Uh, 21 years old. Should be expected to be in the majors about 2020, apparently. In high A ball right now. Verdugo. We might see Verdugo this year at some point. Let's re-sue these. Another Otani paper. Have not seen one of him hitting. Maybe he's only a pitcher in this set. Victor Robles should be a big name for the Nationals this year. That's just that's just Taylor Ward. Sorry, Taylor Ward. That's just Matt Tice. And that's just Parker Bridwell. <laughs> still jumbo one. Yeah, still jumbo one. This takes well over an hour, Rory. It's gonna be it's gonna be jumbo one for another another like forty minutes. Can't rush stuff like this, <laughs> right? Can't rush stuff, and then Adam Kupperman's like, "What? No Tony Superfractor yet, Joe? Come on!" Come on, right? I can't believe there's no Tani Superfractor. Unbelievable. We should have we should have pulled eight different Otani Superfractors by now. There's Edward Olivares for the Blue Jays. 22-year-old outfielder. There you go. Blue Jays, that goes to EA. We got, what, what kind of color is this? The neon yellow? Neon 30, neon avocado? 39 out of 75, Gavin Lavalle. Reds, Justin with that one. There you go. Uh, GCL in the house. What's going on, man? And Chris Rodriguez for the Angels. Had to go to Mark Glassman, who won the Angels in a spot random. Sixth overall in the Angels organization. Should be pretty good. Angels could use the starting pitching. More Tani right here. Jared John asking, uh, anyone got a Jordan Whitehead autograph rookie card? I don't. Man, looks like we have some Yu Chen. Chang, 36 out of 50 
for the Indians. That'll go to Jason Wagner. Just base cards, Hayes. Just base cards. A handful of them. But that's about it thus far. Nice, we got some Nick Prado, 139 out of 150 Bowman Sterling with the uh, Atomic Refractor in there. That's pretty cool. For the Royals, Conrad with the Royals. And there's Bobby Bradley, Purple Chrome, 241 out of 250. Yeah, I think, Joe Cavanaugh, you're absolutely right. I think we need to set up an Otani ticker at the bottom of the feed, something that scrolls across Otani paper count, 5, Otani chrome count, 0, Otani auto count, 0, Jose Barrios, 308 out of 499. Hayes is in on that. I might be able to figure out a way to do that after this break is over. There you go. Jose Barrios, pitching well for the Twins. That'll go out to Rich. Uh, I think we have all three of our autographs, right? We do. So just looking for parallels now. That is that for that box. There are your autographs. We're getting closer. Three boxes to go. Yeah. Uh, Acuna is making his first start. Got called up. How is he so far? I think Bruyo gave us an update on his first hit which was a long fly ball to center field. And then out at the warning track. So let's get let's get some Ronald Acuña hype going. This is all he's over for 2 says Bruce. Um, this is all good for the hobby folks. If if Ronald Acuña goes off, some of the other rookies they're supposed, the other big prospect names start going off this year. Remember, at this point last year, you know, I, I, I think Bellinger only just got called up at this point last year. And I don't think Aaron Judge was really doing judging things. So the hobby really started heating up with those guys in like May, you know, June. That's when things started going, going wild. So it's, it's good to start seeing guys like Ronald Acuna come up, to see Otani playing pretty well, and had a, had a great week too, um, and still playing pretty well. It's all good, all good, all good things for the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. Walker Bueller made his debut for the Dodgers, that's another big name. And some, some, some unexpected, we got Miguel Andujar is up too. Gliber Torres is up, so all, all that will be good for the hobby because a lot of people will be chasing those guys as well. All right, third to last box. And Anthony Banda, 150 out of 150. Rookie auto going to Rory Sears and the Diamondbacks. Nice first auto out of the third to last box. Clear myself some space here. There he is, there's Ronald Acuna. 
people are saying that Ronald Acuna is a I mean, people are saying there's a lot of hyperbole surrounding Ronald Acuna. There's a lot of people saying that might be one of the best <laughs> players that I've ever, best prospects that I've ever seen in terms of being able to do everything. He can hit. He can run. He can field. Hit for average. Hit for power. Good defensive fielder. Good arm. Like five, classic five tool player. Is right there. Classic five tool player is what they say. And the Braves are playing. Um, Braves are playing well this year. So if they start, if they're and they're continuing to add, I mean that's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be crazy. Acuna ideally will be hitting in front or behind. Freddie Freeman for years to come, I think is their is their hope. No train whistles yet. Train whistles and breaks like these are somewhat hard to come by. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr., 44 out of 125. That's another big name. EA with the Blue Jays. I don't know if he has autos in this set, but I'm sure these parallels will be pretty nice. Shed Long, second base prospect for the Reds. I had some good info on him too. I feel like I feel like he was one of the names that popped out to me. Red Legs. That goes to Justin Gutting. Should be pretty good. Came from uh, the Cardinals organization, I think. in my 2018 Bowman Baseball Guide, folks. You can check it out. Link is in the chat. Scroll up, or up and around. You'll find it. MJ Melendez. That's future Salvador Perez right there. Can hit. Can field. Future Salvador Perez. Should be expecting one more autograph out of this box. Good luck, everybody. We've got two more boxes to go. I'm getting very, very near the end. Nice. There's my Dodger talent pipeline. There's DJ Peters, another Do Dodgers have a lot of great prospects coming up. He did he hit pretty well in the uh, in spring training. Mark Bellinger, man, what what's the over under on uh, on how many questions or how many times people will ask if we hit any Otani's yet? I say. Set the over under at 19 and a half. Might be over. All right, so there's DJ Peters for the Dodgers. Jeremy Tillman with my Dodgers. No, no big Otani's yet. I think I am going to do the Otani, the Otani ticker. I think you're number five, Mark. Uh, no. 
as as stated in the item description, paper base does not ship. Obviously, if it's numbered, it will. And there's Michael Kopech, the hard-throwing Michael Kopech out of 4.99 for the White Sox DMAC. So this is paper, but it's serial numbered, so this will ship. All right, two boxes to go, folks. Good luck. I had him cover and I said that could be the same over under as the Leafs Bruins game. Yeah, Michael Kopech should be good. Robert Rohr is saying, I agree. Can throw a fastball in triple digits, strikes out a lot of guys. There were some early, he was in the uh, Red Sox organization. I think that he was part of the Chris Sale deal. There were some early rumblings about, and this just might just be him just being a kid, um, maturity issues, perhaps. It was a small knock on him, but really, he's, he's got oodles of talent and could probably slot in as a just high K per nine relief pitcher, closer material, or perhaps, I think he could still be stretched out to be a starter, too. Second to last box. Good luck, everyone. Three more autographs to go. Some parallels. As well. Usually a nice handful of parallels in there. And there's Kybert Ruiz. Another one. Big Dodgers catching prospect. Pretty excited about him. Jeremy Tillman. There's another catching prospect. His name is Will Smith. Fresh Prince. So Dodger Stadium is already having fun with uh, with Walker Bueller's start, making Ferris Bueller Day Off references in the uh, in the music. Oh yeah, bump bump. So they'll they have that going on, <laughs> the stadium, which is pretty hilarious, and uh, I'm sure they'll have fun when and if Will Smith gets called up to the. Big leagues. I'm sure they'll have some fun things for him too. Kesenhura should be another big name for the Brewers and hobby wise. Be a future second baseman for him. Uh, he's a UC Irvine guy. Grew up near Magic Mountain around here. Ruiz again. 
And look at this. 59 out of 99. Bowman Sterling Auto, Esteban Floriel. Wow. That's so excited. I was knocking, knocking over hits over here. Esteban Floriel, 21-year-old, 20, ranked fifth in the organization, according to Fangraphs.com. 79th overall in high A right now. I have some. Do I have some additional notes on this guy? I think I do. Uh, it's got plus raw power, plus speed, plus arm. For those of you who know your 40 through 80 scouting scale, for you baseball fans out there, I think it's 40 through 30. 40 through 80, that is. So that is a nice uh, insert autograph. For the Yankees, that'll be for Chris Fedor. Nice one, Chris. There's Ryan Vallad. Out of 175, nice third baseman for the Rockies, EA. If you look at the Rockies prospects, Eric, you'll notice that they've got some, uh, they've got some li guys lined up to make up for uh, the possible exit of Nolan Arenado, Trevor Story, and DJ LeMahieu. I think they've actually put themselves in pretty good position to absorb those potential losses if, like, say, Nolan Arenado doesn't sign a contract, a free agent contract with them by the end of the year. For example, Whit Merrifield, blue paper out of 150, had a nice season last year. Royals, Conrad. Josh Lowe, refractor out of 499 for the Rays. Bruce with the, ra uh, with the waves, not the waves, the Rays. Should be expecting one more autograph too. D.L. Hall, Taylor Ward, Ozzy Albius, no Otani autographs as of yet, folks. In case you were wondering. Luis Escobar for Purple Chrome for the Pirates. Michael Gallucci with the Pirates. I don't know if I have any additional information on Luis Escobar. Maybe I do. The Pirates actually have a 22-year-old oh, projected as a uh, mid-rotation guy. Innings eater, I think. 45 out of 250. It's actually having a pretty solid season. Cooled off a little bit, but a solid season. All right, last bit right here. Those are that's it for the autograph. So now we're looking for uh, maybe a nice low numbered parallel or something like that to close out this particular box, and then we'll dive into the final box, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. One more parallel right here. Brian Miller out of 49, or 499, that is. That's for the Marlins. Gerald with the Marlins. Last spot mojo. All right, so there are your autographs. That was a nice one. The Esteban Floriel, the Bowman Sterling auto. It's pretty sweet. All right, last box of eight box. Pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for joining us, folks.
No Otani autographs yet. I feel like I should just repeat that. I think once once every every other pack or so. No Otanis yet. Just some paper and that's it. No chrome. No low, low numbered inserts or anything like that. No autographs. Maybe in this last box. Stay tuned. Watch the whole thing. Watch to the end. I should, yeah, it actually might be easier for me to create some sort of sign instead of, uh, <laughs> Adam Kufferman's like, um, Joe just keeps saying it because he secretly bet the under. I did. Man, imagine, imagine, uh, what, a, what, what degenerate casino would take action on that? And what degenerate actually put action on that? Might be me. Someone, someone just, uh, someone just, uh, uh go, go grab a, uh, the URL, find the domain for did Jaspie's Hobbyland hit an Otani autograph yet? Dot com. And we'll just drop that link and it'll just say yes or no. <laughs> so someone go get that, some, someone go get that domain. It's like, what is it? Five, 10 bucks? Did Jaspie's Hobbyland get an Otani auto yet? Dot com. And just on that page, it'll just be yes or no. We'll, we'll direct everyone to that link. <laughs> Did Jaspie's Hobbyland get an Otani autograph out of 2018 Bowman Baseball yet? Dot com. Perfect. Colton Welker, 106 out of 150. No, no relation to Lawrence Welk. Er. Didn't think you guys would hear a Lawrence Welk reference. JaspiesHobbyland.com, right? <laughs> Bossman knows Lawrence Welk. What? What did you say, Bossman? The, the what machine? Yeah, Lawrence Welk show, the bubble machine. There was a bu I see Bossman taking the Lawrence Welk reference to another level. <clears throat> I don't know if half our audience would know who Lawrence Welk is. It's Saturday night, man. Right, last box, folks. Victor Robles out of four ninety nine. That should be a big one for the Nationals. When are they going to call him up, Eric? EA with the Nationals. They should soon. That guy should be a big name in the hobby too. Lawrence Welk, Joe P. Look it up. And oh, th this is what Jeff Dorlack was talking about. That's the Andres Jimenez autograph. That's not the autograph of a superstar, is it? I mean, listen. Sometimes it takes it takes players a while to to really blossom into the hitter or pitcher they could be. Maybe Andres Jimenez just needs to blossom into his autograph. I mean, that's pretty. Uh, Armando with the Mets. That's a that's that's a stunner. Well, he'll hopefully he'll grow into it. We got Luis Robert, seventy five out of four ninety nine, for D Mac and. The White Sox. Man, that is that is that is some auto. Ooh, that's got to be the worst of all time. I I I want to say, 
I think I even like I even like uh, Broncos Carlos Henderson's auto better because he at least comes goes across the right, goes right. across the card yeah. right even though it's just a line. This might be he doesn't maybe, maybe he doesn't know how to write maybe he's another Joe Jackson <laughs> maybe, maybe just writing an X on his. Wow, well, that's not even an X. Uh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> even Bossman's blown away. He's been in the hobby for decades. I I, I post that on Facebook and. Send it to the news. Uh, yeah, all players shouldn't do. Sort of shame that guy. Yeah, he's got to work on that. Yeah, he's got to work on that. Someone's got to get in his ear and be like, "You can't do that." <laughs> uh, seven. Right? Yeah, Rory. Seven. Yeah, we we pulled about seven Otani autographs. About twelve to to twenty of these paper Otanis. Um, one of one paper, pulled that. The out of five, we we pretty much built the rainbow for Mark Glassman. Yeah. So I mean he he's in he's in good shape. He's he's coming to to become an angel investor for Jasmine's Hobbyland with those with with his newfound winnings. We're gonna burn the rest of the cases because then no no need to break this anymore. <laughs> There's Cedric Mullins. That's for the O's. That goes to David Murphy Jr. Bowman's first. I think Rory is number seven, by the way. We'll keep we'll keep count. I need like a like a table bell. Bing. Every time someone asks, one uh, ninety nine out of two fifty. Alex Jackson. Alex Jackson. For the Braves, Darren McKenzie. Not Alan Jackson. Alex Jackson. And McKenzie Mills, the double M. For the Phillies, Robert Parsons. That's our third and final auto of pick your team number one, unless there's a bonus auto hiding here. But thank you very much, everybody. That was pick your team number one. We are done, believe it or not. That was a nice break. Unfortunately, no Otani autos. A lot of paper, but handful of paper, but not a lot of Otani autographs, no parallels yet. But the search continues, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much. There will be more coming up on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.